Hey guys, what's up? Neckridge here. This time, going over the artistry skill tree, which is going to be known as Songcraft in the US and EU versions of the game for some reason. But uh, the whole tree is based around uh, buffing and debuffing, kind of, and it's got some heals and a little bit of damage spells. So, um, okay. Artistry. First ability is Tuning Fork. You um, cast it, do damage to a target. After you do it, you get a buff that increases your critical chance to hit by 2%. Problem is the buff lasts for like 2 seconds, so you don't have time to get off anything else. So, just like an instant cast. So, it still helps, but whatever. Next ability is Charming Song. This is the basis of a lot of uh, abilities in the Artistry Tree. Uh, it'll stun the target. It's instant cast, it'll stun the target. And then um, it'll put a charm debuff on it. This charm debuff is used in, as you can see, this is glowing. It's a lot of combos. It's used in a lot of abilities. For instance, a tuning fork, you cast it, it'll actually uh, fear the target now as well. So, it's, um, it's pretty good. Next ability is a march, which plays for your entire, entire raid, so you can have this with a lot of people and it'll increase your uh, movement speed of you and your entire group. This works with a lot of stuff. It works on mounts. You can actually cast this while on a mount. Um, it works with um, trade packages. If you got trade packages, it'll increase your run speed. And, um, yeah. The thing about the uh, songs in this tree is uh, they work very well with the uh, Charming Song leaves a uh, debuff on the unit, uh, on the target. Charm. This works very well with a lot of stuff, like I said. This will actually slow a target up now, so it's speeding you up, and whoever's got a charm on them will be slowed. So if you have a couple people with this artistry tree, you can have them separate, uh, cast this on different targets. Charming song, boom, boom, boom. And now you got this affecting everyone. And I will show you what else affects targets with charm. This and this over here reduces the target's attack speed and melee damage by 15%. When it wears off dissonance, it'll do damage. So, boom. You'll see it wear off and do damage. That is also affected by the charm debuff that um, Charming Song puts on them. Problem with that is it'll remove it. It'll take it off. It'll take off the actual uh, charm debuff, which is bad because there's a lot of abilities that um, use um, that debuff. Okay, summon him out because I uh, wanted to show um, Heal Inquire. This uh, ability jumps between targets and it'll uh, heal you and the targets and it'll split into different notes and heal targets all around. So um, it'll actually be bouncing around a, a big group of people and healing them a little bit here and there. But the less people there are, the more it's going to heal. It'll heal for next to nothing if you're alone. But as long as you have a target for it to bounce off of, it'll heal a lot. So, um, very good if there's just two of you running around. It does a lot. But, um, okay. Next one is just a buff, Hymn of Wisdom. It's good though. It, um, increases your, well, reduces your cast time with all abilities. So, that's everything. It's not just Artistry Tree. You can cast this on, uh, friends and stuff as well. So, it's good. Song of Healing. Um, you cast it. You can run around and cast on your mount too. It gives back mana to you and your friends and it heals them. So... As you see, I'm about to take some damage. This song will just heal me right up. So, um, yeah, it's good. It's good to have it going on. It's like regen, man good mana and health regen for your entire raid. Um, if you look at the, the combo ability at the bottom, this works with the Charming Song again. So now they're going to get the Charm debuff. And when you cast this, it'll tick some nasty damage on the target like that. Just keep doing it. And um, it's pretty freaking OP. To be honest, it can... Uh, <laughs> look at this range. It can um, kill an opponent pretty easily if you're fighting against one enemy. One of the best things is you can combo with combo this with other songs. I will show you um, how in a second. There we go. That was two heals. Um, 
Next one is Healing Spring. After a short cast time, put a circle on the floor. That heals everyone standing in it, so you can have your whole raid bunch up and get a pretty decent uh, regen going on. This works uh, very well if you're fighting within it as well. Like your team's fighting within it and you're throwing out some heals and it's a nice boost of healing. In a protection tree, you can put up a shield and trap enemies in there. So if you're in there with your allies, you can put this down on the shield and now your enemies are forced to fight in a healing, sh healing floor that's healing all the people they're trying to fight. So your team's getting healed while uh, trapping the enemies within the shield so they can't even leave the healing circle on the floor. So they're forced to fight within a floor that's healing all your team. So it's, it's good. It works out very well. Um, next ability. It ups the protections of um, your team. It ups your protection and your spell resist. So your physical and spell resistance goes higher. goes up a lot for you and your raid. It will reduce the damage you take from both physical and elemental attacks. Spell attacks. Um... If the enemy is affected by the charm, like so, when you use this, it will actually reduce their protection and spell resistance a lot. So, um, yeah, helps you do more damage. Ah, uh, what else, what else? Next ability, Rhapsody of Battle. It actually increases the damage of you and your allies by 16 to 24 percent and increases your attack speed. Um, this reduces the damage of anybody charmed by 30 percent. So as you can see, his damage is reduced. But, here's the kicker. Marching Song makes me faster. The um, Song of Healing that also does damage to people with the debuff. The reduced Increased protection for me and reduced for the enemy. Increased damage and attack speed. I have all four of them going right now, and all four of the debuffs from them are affecting the uh, the enemy that is marked with the um, the charm debuff. So the range is pretty damn large too, and uh, it could be pretty strong. It's very, very, very nice support for your raid. You really need a couple of these guys going on. Um, I would have two or three in like a 50-man raid just to make sure you got all songs going and uh, you have the extra heals that they can support with and the stun and damage. Um, anyway, last ability. It removes the um, stuns from anybody. So anybody that's actually um, sleep or stun, sorry, will be removed like instantly. Can't be done. So he's just trying to stun me. Cannot be done. This cannot be used with the other songs though. It's got to be used alone, but uh, very, 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 very useful. The cooldown is one minute, though. It lasts for, fi um, for 15 seconds, so it would be good to cycle this between uh, like three artistry people. One person will be playing the song, someone will be playing this one, then they swap to keep your uh, keep stunned and sleeps off your uh, sleep effects off your team. On to the passives. This uh, passive reduces the cast bar reduction if you're getting hit. So instead of losing, I don't know, maybe a second while getting hit a couple times, you only lose half a second because it reduces it by 50%. Next one. This increases the duration of the uh, the four songs you can play together. One, two, three, and four. Increases the duration so you can keep them going longer. I haven't recast them all the time. Uh, this one here. Reduces the um, the cast time of all your abilities within this tree by 32%. Next one increases the range of all the uh, the songs, which is a must-have. It's very, very, very good. Increases it by a lot. The last ability is the last passive is usually why um, people take this tree with a magic tree. Uh, when you critically hit with spells, you are more likely to critically hit with spells by 32% for six seconds. Um, and it, um, instead of two times crit damage, it's now four times. It, uh, it's pretty damn ridiculous how, uh, how much damage you can really do with this. If you support it with, like, a magic tree or something. It's good. But, um, yeah, that's the artistry tree. Kind of like a, a healer support tree. And, um, it's awesome to have. It's really good for your team. Anyway, thanks for watching. If anyone's looking for... A good, good, good hardcore guild in Arcage. 
check us out, The Ornithool. I'll have a link to our uh, website in an annotation and in the description. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. Please subscribe.